N8N is extremely powerful when it comes to connecting voice flow to hundreds of apps and integrations. As an open source automation tool, N8N stands out from platforms like Make and Zapier by offering custom logic capabilities and full access to their open source code. This means you can get unparalleled flexibility to design workflows tailored to your exact needs. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to seamlessly connect N8N to VoiceFlow, unlocking new ways to extend your VoiceFlow chat applications. So let's go ahead and get right into it. All right. So before we get started, just a few housekeeping things. We need to set up some accounts if you haven't already. So the first thing we're going to have you do is go into the link in the description below and make an N8N account. You can go ahead and sign in or get started. And you'll just go ahead and get yourself started here sign in and once you're logged in you'll have a nice little dashboard here under overview that should have nothing in it if you're just new to this platform or maybe a few things if you've used it before and what we're going to do is go to this top right button here and press create and we're going to press workflow select where you want to create it and we're going to have this empty workflow here the second thing we're going to do is make our voice flow account so we're going to go ahead and transition from n8n and you're going to go to the link in the description for creating a voice flow account and you're going to go ahead and navigate to voice flow either sign in if you already have an account or get started and you're going to navigate to whatever chatbot you want to build out or connect to N8N in this situation. So for a tutorial another day, we'll walk you through how to make all of these chatbots and things like that. I actually have some other tutorials that teach you how to make a chatbot, but for today, we're going to assume that you already have something that you want to integrate into N8N. Cool. So we've got everything set up here. We're going to navigate back to N8N and we're going to go into that voice flow that we created originally. Outstanding. So we're in this voice flow here. And the first thing we're going to do is add our first step. So we're going to press this plus sign and we're going to be adding adding a webhook. So type in web or whatever you want to type in here to find webhook. And we're going to click on webhook and we're going to change the HTTP method to post. Outstanding. So change the HTTP method to post and we're going to go ahead and go up here to this URL and press click to copy webhook URL. Outstanding. So what we're going to do here is navigate to our voice flow now and what I set up for you guys and you can actually get a template for this in the description below if you would like to. It's completely free if you just use the discount code in the description below, but I'll give you guys this template, the NAN connection template that walks us through a few steps um, of just like a basic form of the data that we want to send to NAN and then potentially send to another platform. So what we have here, we have copied that post uh, API URL. And the next thing we're going to do is just kind of walk through the steps of the template here and what we have set up. So the first thing we have is the name capture. So in this situation, we're asking the user, hey, what's your name? They're going to type in their name and we're going to save that user reply to the variable name. The second thing we're going to do is the email capture. Same situation, we're asking for the user's email, but this time we're saving it to the variable email. Third thing we're going to do is get a user inquiry. So we're going to ask for the inquiry and save their input to the variable inquiry. Now into the interesting stuff. So we're going to add a post API block. So the way that we do this is we go down to dev and we dragged in this API block. Cool. And what we did was we went into this API block and I'm actually going to start from scratch for you guys to make this even easier. So we're going to go back over here. We're going to look inside of this empty API block, and the first thing we need to do is change it to post. Then we're going to go ahead and paste in that URL. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we can see this here. We're going to add the body, so the data that we're sending over to N8N. So we're going to go to the body here, and we're going to press this plus sign. Awesome. So the form data that we're going to input, the first thing that we collected was the name. So we're going to type in name as the key, so name, and then we're going to input the variable. The way we input the variable is by doing an opening bracket and then finding the variable that we set the value name to when we asked for the user's name. So we're going to do that and we're going to do the same process for everything else. So email, we're going to set the variable email and then we're going to do inquiry. We're going to set the variable of inquiry. Great. So that's what our block is going to look like. That's what our post API block is going to look like. And now we don't have to touch this again. And I'm going to go ahead and delete this because I already have it replicated up here. Um, but we have that set up. And let me just change out this URL here. And 
if there's success, we're going to go into a great, we will be in touch and then move into a, what else can I help you with? And potentially link off into another block in the chat bot. If it fails, we're just going to give sort of like a fallback message that says, Hey, email us and we'll help you instead of connecting to um, N8N or an automation. So the really important here is this post API block. That's the one you need to pay attention to. Great. So we have that set up. You know how voice flow is working in the back end here. So we're going to navigate back into the N8N here and go into the webhook. And now we're inside of this little webhook that we set up here. And we're going to try to test this. So to make sure that everything worked out exactly how we wanted, we're going to listen for a test event. Now we can see there's this little pop up that shows us that it's listening. And what we're going to do is we're going to actually run through this flow. So we're going to press start here back in voice flow. And it's going to ask, can you share your name? My name's Sierra. And my email is Sierra at Botterra AI. And my inquiry is just going to be, I'm confused. Awesome. The flow worked. And so we're going to navigate back into N8N. And we can actually see that it got that data. It actually collected that information. We can see where it got the information from in the header here. We see we have no parameters, no query. But in the body is where all of that important information is going to be. So we've got the email. We got the name. And we got my inquiry, which is my I'm confused. Outstanding. So the webhook is connected. We're a go. The next thing that we're going to do, and we can see that we have green here, which means that we're good. The next thing that we're going to do is press the plus sign and we're going to be connecting to Gmail today for today's demo, but there are so many different things that we can connect to with N8N. Um, you can press here and see all of the different apps. You just keep scrolling and there's just so many different things that you can connect to, which is outstanding and each of them has their own unique function. So I'm going to go ahead and connect to Gmail today and you can see there's so many actions we can choose from, but today I'm going to send a message. So I'm going to type in send message and we can see here that since we tested our N8N webhook connection, there's some input information over here on the left. So if we scroll down a little ways and go to the body, we can see all of the data that the user input into that form in VoiceFlow. So I'm going to go ahead and send an email to gmail.com. So it's going to send me an email and it's going to tell me, hey, someone has contacted you. And in that message, it's going to say, hey, comma, or actually, hey, and we're going to drag over my name. So, hey, Sierra has contacted you. Email them back at, and then I'm going to put in the email of my email, and then I'm going to say they are, and then I'm going to put in the inquiry that I'm confused. Awesome. So you can see here that we took those variables and we put them into the message. Now, let's say that you actually wanted to email the person who filled out this form. You could do that easily by just changing the to to that person's email. So it's a super simple drag, drop, drag, drop sort of situation. So for this example, we're just going to use emailing myself an email that I am confused. Outstanding. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to test this step. So I'm going to press test step. And we can see that the label ID was sent, the node was executed, everything is working good, everything is green. Outstanding. So this looks great, super happy with it. We're going to go ahead and test this workflow. So what we're going to do to make sure that everything is working here at the end is we press that test workflow button. We're going to go back up here. Let me refresh my voice flow for a fresh start here. We're back in voice flow. I'm going to press start again to go through my dialog and I'm going to put in my name Sierra at, well actually we'll put in this email and then we're going to do I'm confused send that we can see that it succeeded and we can see here in the top right you might not be able to see it but I got an email saying that my inquiry has been processed. We can see here that it went through the process. Everything checks out. And we can see here in my email that I got an email from N8N and that it says, hey, Sierra has contacted you. Email them back. And it says that they are confused. So we just sent ourselves an automated email by connecting VoiceFlow to N8N. And 
Email is just the start of it. There's so many other automations that you can connect here. I highly recommend that you utilize NAN for your automations. I know I use them for mine and I hope this was helpful for you and I'm excited to see you in the next.